Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot Essentials. Uh, in this video, we are going to see how we can override uh, several exceptions at once. I mean, by overriding, how we can add these properties, at least the ones that we have inside error, uh, sorry, exception details. So, for that, uh, let me show you something here. By starting the application and going to Postman, if we send like uh, a wrong JSON body and we click send, we will get one exception that it's it's been held on by Spring, but at the same time, this is outside of the pattern that we defined. So this exception, if we go here, it's HTTP message not readable exception. And if you go into the logs, you will see that it was resolved by using the handler exception resolver. So we do have a handle for that coming from spring so what we are going to do here it's kind of a check what we have inside this um, default handler let's make this class press exception handler extends the response entity exception handler so this is a, a class from spring and as you can see here we do have this method public final with exceptional handler and if we check the message that we received this HTTP message not readable exception, it's being handled here. So if we keep uh, scrolling down, as you can see, we have this handle HTTP uh, message not readable. And if we go uh, inside this method, we have this handle exception internal. So basically, if we would like all these exceptions available here to have the same body as we have now for the custom exceptions, we just copy this entire handle exception internal and then you add it here make sure that you add at override and then we can uh, do our own uh, business logic here so for example uh, we can use the custom details we just copy this builder until build let's uh, we can leave it like this uh, or we can just replace everything and here it will be exception details dot builder uh, exception is ex ex the status we do have here coming as an argument so we are just going to get status dot value and uh, instead of title we can uh, just say internal exception or we can get uh, the class maybe we have this developer message but we can check here get let's see and um, looks like this is everything that we have to do so let's uh, reboot the application and now we are going to check again sending this unreadable body oh something happened here so error being with handle exceptional resolver blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay so if we go here this is the method that's giving us problem and I believe that the reason is because this exception, let's check, it's also available there. So here at the, not this one, but the response entity looks like, yeah, we do have here, but the name, it's a bit different probably. We are not overriding. Let's check. So the name is handle method argument not valid. Okay. So let's copy the where we can go inside and then we copy everything from protected the whole signature of this method and we replace it here and then you just remove this and you add override because it's already defined or actually we do not even need to do that because yeah the this is the point um we are overriding here this one specifically because we do have the fields message that we would like to add 
and here we don't have so let's leave it like this so make sure that you don't have it uh, the sexual handler attribute here annotation let's try to start again okay now let's execute the request and then we have the this bad request and it looks like we don't have anything so let's scroll down because we forgot to add here the body exception details okay now we refresh it and then we have the same uh, body as we have for all the other ones so if you are trying to do for more exceptions you could do something like um, what spring did here at the top of this response entity exceptional handler so you basically take care of the exception inside one handle exception method so this is uh, how we can have the same exception body for all this just make sure that you have a consistent uh, body for your errors okay i think uh, that's enough information about errors let's move on with spring and let's see what will be the next interesting topic see you in the next video bye <laughs>